This video is about painting skin tone, whether it's quite a light skin tone like this, or whether it's a slightly darker skin tone like that. When it comes to painting skin tone, generally you're going to use the brown colours, the earth colours. You may choose to use a little bit of red. You may choose to even use some yellow ochre or yellows in places and maybe even some blues in the shadows but generally it's going to be your brown colours maybe with some red to warm it up a little bit and the other thing which is common is painting very very watery if we have a look at this one to start off with in terms of the skin tone if we look at perhaps this section we have an eye, eyebrow and some hair in that section plus of course the eyelashes. When it comes to doing the skin tone, looking at this I think we really want to start off with a little bit of this crimson red. Very watery, it looks a bit pink, maybe a little bit of brown to tone it down a little bit. Plenty of water. This looks like it's got a little bit of yellow in there to warm it up a bit. And again, we're going to paint this very watery. Now, before I start painting it, I'm going to just rub out this outline. Because we're painting so watery, I don't want this outline to show through the, the skin tone. So, let's have a look. Better to go too lightly to start off with. You can see I'm mixing on the paper. Just add a little bit more of the colours we started with. The red, a little bit of brown and we added a tiny bit of yellow to match the colour. Remember we're matching the colour on the edge of the paper just like we did before. And careful we don't go over the line. When it comes to painting where the hair is, obviously there's some hair over the top of the skin, so we want to probably go over it a little bit. This is quite similar to, if you remember how we painted the cloud pictures in year eight where we work with very light colors to start off with. A little bit darker over the top of the eye there and down here but we want to blend it in also on the eye lid a bit darker. over the eyebrow because obviously you can see skin in between the hairs. Looks like there's a little bit more yellow up there so I'm going to add a little bit more kind of yellow colour. Seems to me a little bit darker here so I'm going to add a little bit more tone there. That looks a bit dark but obviously I'm going to try with a damp brush just kind of blend that in a little bit, very subtly. A bit darker on the top eyelid there, perhaps a bit darker there. And that then is done. Then of course it's a case of waiting for it to dry. Because of course when this area is dry like this is, one can then start to put a bit more of the finer details in. So twisting my brush to a point, trying to build up this idea that the hair is going this direction. Obviously normally I would turn the paper around. I'm not painting in such an awkward angle but I'm trying to do this 
you can see it on camera. It's a case of gradually building up the fine detail. Again, when it comes to doing details like an eye, same approach if you look at this eye one starts off with a very light watery color building in whether it's the iris section or the pupil and then the fine details come afterwards so again if we look at this eye there there's not a huge amount of detail in here so again i'm going to look at some eye pictures on my phone find one which is suitable front on quite like that one I think that one's quite good in terms of detail same type of shape so I'm going to start off by painting the white section around it looks like a tiny bit of blue looks like it gets a bit dark on that side even looks like a bit of green in there but I'll stick to looking at these colours and say, well, it looks like it's a bit more red in the corner. Very subtly, because we don't want it too dark. Then, coming back to this idea, if we paint this lightish brownish colour to start off with, again, I think there's a bit of blue in his eye and a bit of green, so pinch a bit of green, pinch a bit of blue, make sure incredibly watery to start off with I'm going to correct the shape a little bit next probably need to wait for this to dry but I'm going to go some slightly darker colors to try and improve the outline of the shape of it. Knowing when to work into it and when you need to leave it dry, it's obviously important. Now if this student had taken pictures where the eyes were a bigger part of the section it would give more space to be able to put in the fine detail. So obviously that's a better quality eye but it's much bigger but it gives an idea on how to develop the skin tones and a little bit more detail into the work. So here we have a slightly darker skin tone. So in the last one, we work generally with, with the red colours, a little bit of brown, whereas here, probably going to want to work with a little bit more of just the browns, maybe a bit of the darker browns in places, but again, incredibly watery. to try to create this type of skin tone. So if we have a look at the section, for example, around the nose here, you can see, again, incredibly watery. Just using the paper again to mix up my tones. So this is just quite a small section. Looks like it's slightly darker on this side. It looks too dark, but of course if it's too dark, you can still use quite a bit of water to blend it in. I'm going to try and make my brush strokes curve a little bit how it goes around the nose. Much darker up the top there in this sort of section. A 
again that's very dark but of course remember how we blended in paint previously by just using pretty dry brush so it looks a little bit darker under here so that's the first layer before it dries after that of course we'll put in some of the finer details And then when it comes to adding add a bit more detail you don't want to draw a line around things but if you're careful you can do a very subtle hint of a line so if you look around there you can just paint very fine line and then i'm going to just try to soften it and blend it in just a little bit and then again this line there and again just trying to soften it a little bit and that's the nose section done now it might be the case you think oh, I want to add a little bit more color so for example here looks like it's a bit more color now I think I'm adding quite a lot there but of course what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to blend it in You can see building up the skin tone. 